Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina. In this video, let's talk about the cross product and triple scalar product in part 3. Let's start with the cross product. Suppose we have two vectors, u and v, and they are in R3, so they have three components. We define their cross product as follows. We write the cross product in R3 as a 3 by 3 determinant. In the first row, we have the standard basis in R3 i hat, j hat, and k hat. Second row, we put the components of the first vector. Suppose we have u cross v, then the second row is components of u, which is u1, u2, and u3. And the third row, we put the components of the second vector, v1, v2, and v3. Then if we expand the determinant along the first row, it will be plus the first component in the first row. So plus i hat, then we hide the row and the column of this entry. So we hide the first row and the first column and take the determinant of the smaller matrix. So if we ignore the first row and the first column, we'll be left with u2, u3, v2, and v3. Then the second entry in the first row is j hat, but we are going to alternate the sign. The first one we have plus, so the second one is minus j hat. Then times the 2 by 2 determinant after we eliminate the row and the column of this entry j hat, which is in the first row and second column. So we'll be left with u1, u3, v1, and v3. And the last component in the first row is k hat. And we alternate the sign, so here we have plus k hat and times the 2 by 2 determinant after we eliminate the first row and the third column, which is u1, u2, v1, and v2. And just a quick note, determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, suppose the entries are a, b, c, and d, determinant of this is a times b minus b times c. Now let's look at this example. It is a cross product in R3. So first of all, we are going to write the cross product as a 3 by 3 determinant. First row is i hat, j hat, and k hat. Second row is components of the first vector. First vector is i hat plus 2j hat plus 3k hat. So components are 1, 2, and 3. In the last row, we are going to put the components of the second vector, negative 1, 4, and 2. And this equals. From the definition, we can see that the result of a cross product is a vector. So I'm going to write it in vector form. The first component would be determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix after we eliminate the first row and the first column. So determinant of 2, 3, 4, and 2. Second component, we add a negative sign, then a 2 by 2 determinant after we eliminate the first row and second column. 1, 3, negative 1, and 2. And the last component, a 2 by 2 determinant after we eliminate the first row and the third column. 1, 2, negative 1, and 4. Then we compute the 2 by 2 determinants. First one we have 4 minus 12. Second one we have negative 2 plus 3. The third one is 4 plus 2. So the result of this cross product is a vector in R3 with components negative 8, negative 5, and 6. How about a triple scalar product? A triple scalar product, we need three vectors. It is a vector dot with a cross product of two vectors. If we write out the components, suppose vector u has components of u1, u2, and u3. Then this vector is dot with a cross product 
and we can use what we just learned. If I write that in two by two determinant, then the first component is a two by two determinant with components b two, b three, w two, and w three. Second component is negative of b one, b three. W1 and W3. And the last component is determinant of B1, B2, W1 and W2. And the dot product, it is the sum of the product of each component. So U1, U2 and U3 dot with the cross product, it will be U1, times the first component of the cross product, determinant of B2, B3, W2, and W3. Then plus U2 times the second component from the cross product. That would be minus U2 times the determinant. Then plus U3 times the third component from the cross product. Then we can also write this as a 3 by 3 determinant. So it's similar to the cross product notation. But in the first row, instead of the standard basis, I had J hat and K hat. Now in the first row, I'm going to put the components of the first vector. U1, U2, and U3 and the rest are the same. In a quick note, when we interchange any of the vectors in a triple scalar product, the result will change its sign. For example, if instead of u dot the cross product, I have b dot u cross w, then the result of the new triple scalar product will be the negative of the original triple scalar product. Another quick note is, remember for the cross product, the result is a vector. But for triple scalar product, since we have a vector dot with cross product, which is a vector, so it is the dot product of two vectors. So the result of a triple scalar product will be a scalar. Let's look at this example. Here three vectors are given, and we want to find u dot b cross w. So we can use the determinant notation. First row, I put the components of u. 1, 2, and 3. Second row, I put the components of B. 3, 0, and 2. And the third row, I put the components of W. 2, 1, and 2. Then I get 1, the first entry in the first row, then times the 2 by 2 determinant after we eliminate first row and first column, which is 0, 2, 1, and 2. Then minus second entry in the first row. Then times the 2 by 2 determinant. 3, 2, 2, and 2. Then plus 3, the third entry in the first row. And times the determinant. 3, 0, 2, and 1. This equals 1, times 0 minus 2 minus 2 times 6 minus 4 and plus 3 times 3 minus 0. That is negative 2 minus 2 times 2, that is plus 4 and plus 9, which equals to 11. So note that result of a triple scalar product, the result is a scalar. And that is the end of the video. In this video, we learn how to compute the cross product and triple scalar product in R3. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.